Today's episode of Ansel's Anything Show is brought to you by Beano. Beano, for when your farts are so smelly, they wake up your boyfriend in the middle of the night. Hi, welcome to Ansel's Anything Show. And welcome to another episode of Cooking with Cannabis. That's right, folks. And today, I'm going to show you how to make something that is not a dessert. That's right, folks. Did I already say that's right, folks? So today we're going to make a chili. If you don't like chili, this method of infusion will work with basically any soup. This is gonna be like a chili for like one or two, or chili for one that you can save. So first things first, I have my trusty Ninja crock pot that also works as like a stove top, so it's like a regular pot. And then I'm gonna take my can of butter. Now, this chili is gonna be, probably have like, four servings, I'm gonna do two tablespoons of can of butter. I would do more, but I have to save this to do other recipes, so. It seems like a no-brainer to do cannabis food for dinner rather than dessert, because when you eat the dinner, then you can get high for dessert, you'll be high. You know, by the time dessert's happening, I'm going to bed in an hour. Okay, so we have the, the coconut oil in there, and now we're just gonna add some onion. If you have garlic, add garlic. I'm literally just using what I have left at my house because I have to go shopping. All right, the onions um, are aromatic. And now I'm gonna add in some chopped up sweet potato. You don't have to add sweet potato. I think it's really good in chili. It adds a little bit of a sweetness. Uh, if you want to do that and you don't have sweet potato, carrots work similarly. Now I'm gonna add this bean trio. All of the beans. You also want to add a little bit of tomato sauce. I want to add the whole can, probably. Whole can, why not? And we have some chicken broth, which you could use water, you could use beef broth, you could use like water with some soy sauce, you could use whatever stock you have. It's just essentially flavored water. So I probably should have done this next part. Um, when I still had the uh, onions sweating, but we're gonna add some seasonings. So I'm gonna add a little cayenne. I like to measure this in my hand, cause onion powder, boom, go for it. I just do a lot. You could do like a tablespoon of each, depending on how much chili you're making. Cumin, this is what smells like Mexico. Paprika, no brainer. Garlic powder, very important because I didn't have any fresh garlic, which would have been ideal. This actually looks very sauce-like and I'm thinking I wish that I had like beef to put in here, but I don't. It'll be the only time I've ever made a bad chili on YouTube. All right, so I think I will just let this simmer on stove top for a while, and we'll come back and check on it. I don't know, like half an hour? We're back everybody, and the aromas of the chili have filled the abode. A uh, couple things that I wanna add that I forgot to add before. Well, first we didn't add any type of salt, but I'm going to add soy sauce because I think it's gonna give it a little more of a oomph. And I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce, which you saw I had in my Chex Mix video. Just a little, I don't know, this might be a huge mistake, but I think it's gonna give um, like a more robust flavor. Then I'm gonna add a little nutritional yeast because I add this to everything. And that about does it, you know? You can add whatever, you guys know the deal. Taste it, make adjustments. Not gonna lie, I probably would have added a little less of the red sauce and more broth, but I think that it's fine. I'm gonna take a little bite, a little try. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that's actually surprisingly good. Probably a little more soy sauce, but um, you get the idea. You can do this with any soup, sauce, chili, whatever. Um, you just add coconut oil. Thank you for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show. Don't forget to check out my other Cooking with Cannabis videos, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Chili Cam Watch 2020. It's about an hour or so after I've had my bowl of chili, and I gotta tell you, I was like, what is this feeling I feel? It's a familiar feeling. It's a warm, cozy feeling. I like this feeling. And I realized that I'm high from my chili and I had a bowl. So try this, try it out. Use a little less sauce next time though. <laughs> Use a little less of the tomato paste, but this is, this is my fight song, dude. <laughs> this is my, 
This is my fight song, my end of life song. <laughs> All right, chili cam out. <laughs>